Okay, good morning. <laughs> We're here at the St. Louis County Transportation and Public Works facility in Maryland Heights. Um, I'm here to do my press, press briefing today to talk about the work that we're doing on our county roads and our road projects. It's officially road construction season and we have dozens of projects underway or on tap for this year. And I'd like to share a half a dozen or so of the bigger projects with you today. Allen Road Bridge Replacement. This is a $5 million project underway in West St. Louis County in District 7. We're also resurfacing Midland Boulevard from Page Avenue to Canton. And this is a $3.9 million project in the first district. And it includes a sidewalk, curb replacement, and some signal upgrades. Another resurfacing project is Westport Plaza Marine Avenue. And this work is in District 2. And it also includes sidewalk and curb replacement and signal upgrades for a total cost of $4.7 million. Bayless Avenue, which runs through District 6 in South St. Louis County, is getting resurfaced as well. Uh, this project includes uh, curb and sidewalk improvements and signal upgrades, and it's uh, coming in at a $2.3 million um, cost. The fifth not notable project is a resurfacing of McKelvey, McKelvey Road, also in District 2. This is a $3 million project. And the sixth project I'd like to highlight is a $1.9 million project in the second district, and this is Lackland Road for resurfacing. This includes culverts, sidewalks, and, um, uh, and no signal upgrade. In all, St. Louis County Department of Transportation and Public Works is managing $42.7 million of uh, road and bridge improvements. And of course, this is in addition to all the construction projects by MoDOT and other municipalities in St. Louis County um, uh, this summer. And with all this, of all this progress, we ask our drivers to be patient. Our work crews, our road crews are doing everything they can to get everyone safely and where they're going. But in addition to the projects we just mentioned, um, we also have road crews filling potholes all across St. Louis County. On average, our road crews fill 15,000 potholes every year. And potholes are what we hear about a lot, and we understand. If there's a pothole that you'd like to have filled, please call 314-615-8538. That's 615-8538. For all the work that's going on and planned for this year, there are a lot of projects we'd like to do, but we just don't have all the funds that we need to do them. Inflation has elevated the costs of our road and bridge projects by 70% over the assumptions our transportation department made when our budget was drafted at the beginning of the year. And notably, the federal infrastructure bill has the unintended consequence of causing construction costs to surge as the demand for labor and supplies has escalated. The competition for skilled labor here and across the country has intensified, resulting in higher wages and labor costs. Supply chain disruptions um, from the global pandemic have further exacerbated the situation. And as a result, we can't do nearly as many projects as we had planned. In fact, our Department of Transportation has canceled $26.6 .6 million projects that we had planned in the next five years. And we can't lean on the county's road, uh, road fund anymore to fund these projects. A budget deficit now for this year of $40 million is, um, is really going to prevent us from just going back into this fund and picking up the slack. Um, our, our revenues are coming in a little bit stronger than we'd expected, but we still are carrying a significant structural deficit. Without new revenue streams or cuts to services or a combination of the two, 
Um, we just can't keep operating with this deficit. It's not sustainable and it's not good for the financial health of our county. A budget work group that includes me and a couple of members of the council meet each week and we're going through the budget with each department to understand where the revenues are coming from, uh, what vacancies they have, and what services might be able to be cut. We plan to begin town hall meetings in June uh, with residents in St. Louis County to get their input on the budget as well. And we'll announce those dates as soon as we have them finalized. Meanwhile, please drive through caution, drive with caution in a work zone. Our work crews are working hard to make our roads safer and we want to make sure they get home safely to their families as well. Thank you, and I would be glad to answer any questions. So the question is about the current economic climate and our decision making around choosing projects. Um, our um, Department of Transportation and Public Works and our crews, they go around and they grade the roads on a scale of, uh, of uh, one to 10. And uh, one is, is terrible and 10 is brand new. And so we uh, start to replace roads when there are three or four on that scale. Um, we would like to replace them sooner, um, but uh, that's what we do with the funds that we have. Uh, we know that we have a lot of roads in St. Louis County. We have at least $200 million of unmet needs in our road projects and our capital plan. Uh, we have about $40 million a year to spend uh, towards that goal. And we use that money to match with, state, uh, with uh, state and federal funds and we get as many projects done as possible. But we are currently in an inflationary environment with our road projects. They're coming in at 70% above our, our budgeted costs. And uh, that makes it very difficult for us to do all of the projects that we had planned. Well, it's, there are two fundamental challenges in getting our roads fixed. Um, one is a structural deficit and the lack of funds. We've, we don't have enough money to fix all the roads that we'd like to um, because of the limited funds we have in St. Louis County to spend on roads. Uh, the second big challenge is that the costs have escalated dramatically beyond what we had expected. And that's a challenge that everyone in the region and everyone in the country is facing. Any other questions? Okay, thank you.